Now that we've applied styles to all of our headings in the document, we're ready to go ahead and insert a table of contents. To get started, let's move to page two, where we'll insert the table of contents. Under the line table of contents, click once to place your cursor on line two. Next, we'll need to click the references tab on our ribbon. On the references tab on the far left, click the table of contents button, and towards the bottom of the pull down, click the custom table of contents option. In the table of contents dialog box, the only option you need to change is show levels. Right now it's currently set to three. Let's move it up to five in case you have to apply up to a fifth level heading. These other options show page numbers we want to have checked. We also want to right align the page numbers and the tab leader is already set to a dot leader tab. So nothing else needs to be changed. Once you click OK, it'll insert the table of contents. I'll scroll up a little bit and you can see the entire table of contents. 